The Kiducate project provides a fun yet scientifically rich educational experience for children around creating a healthy lifestyle. We learned so much today in school. I know, there's so much to know about being healthy. I just hope I can remember everything. Hi kids, how was school today? Did you learn anything interesting? Yeah mom, we learned so much about healthy living. Our teacher brought in a doctor who knew a lot about health. And we learned about the things that keep us healthy. Like energy balance. Do you know what calories are mom? Why don't you tell me about them? Well it's just another name for energy. And we get that type of energy from fruit. The more healthy food we eat, the more nutrients and energy we have to do things. Like run, bike, snowboard, and even think. We need calories for our bodies to work and grow right. Wow, it sounds like you learned a lot. We did. We even learned about having too many calories because if you eat too much and don't use enough energy, your body turns those calories into fat. And having too much fat in our bodies can be unhealthy. So how much are you supposed to eat? And how much energy are you supposed to use? I asked the same question, and the doctor said it depends. Not everyone is the same, so different people need to eat different sizes of food and exercise at different lengths. But eating healthy and exercising enough are two big topics, Mom. Can we just talk about one for now? Sure, honey. Why don't you tell me about healthy food choices? I'm going to the grocery store soon, so I'll need all the help I can get on buying the right foods. Hmm. Well, first, we should understand what types of food to eat and how much of it to eat. And to do that, we have Canada's Food Guide to help us. It tells different people how much to eat and the kinds of food to eat. And it tells us based on how old we are. Let's take a look at mine and Angela's age group. Since we are both eight years old, we need to eat five servings of vegetables, four servings of grain products, two servings of milk and alternatives, and one serving of meat products, all in one day. It also says how much babies and toddlers should eat, and how much kids a little older than me and Tim should eat. Wow, that looks like a lot of food. But it isn't hard to eat that much, Mom, and the older we get, the more food we should be eating. I see. So when you and Angela become older teenagers, you're going to need more food to feed your bigger bodies. Right, but because she's a girl and I'm a boy, we'll need different amounts of food. Yeah, because boys have bigger bodies than us girls. Ah, uh, that makes sense. But what foods are nutritious? And how much of these healthy foods should you eat? So what is the serving? Our whole class had the same question. Lucky for us, Canada's Food Guide tells us how much food is equal to one serving. So, for fruits and vegetables, one serving is half a cup of fresh, frozen, or canned vegetables, or half a cup of fresh, frozen, or canned fruits, or one cup of leafy raw vegetables, or one piece of fruit. For grain products, one serving is equal to one slice of bread, or half of a bagel, pita, or tortilla, or half a cup of cooked rice, pasta, or couscous, or a three-quarter cup of hot cereal. For milk and alternatives, one serving is equal to one cup of milk or four to five soy beverage, or a three-quarter cup of yogurt or 50 grams of cheese, which is about the size of two thumbs. And for meat and alternatives, one serving is equal to two eggs, or two tablespoons of peanut butter, or half a cup of cooked fish, shellfish, poultry, or lean meat. And this half a cup is around the size of a cupped hand. Wow, then it looks like you have a lot of options to meet your daily servings of the four food groups. That's right. So now do you have ideas of what to buy from the grocery store? Yes, I do. And I also have an idea of how much of each food to buy. You'll be healthy for a very long time. Actually, would you mind if we went along with you? Oh, why is that? Well, me and Tim also learned that it's better for people to prepare meals together. Oh yeah, I remember now. The doctor said it would be good if we prepare meals together. This includes planning what we'll eat, buying the ingredients, cooking the meals, clearing up afterwards, talking about what went well and not so well, learning from these experiences, and working to make our eating area an especially pleasant place. 
Hmm, I've never heard that before. Why is that important? Because it makes us put more importance on our eating habits. For one, it helps spread the responsibility of cooking, so things get done quicker. We want to be there for you and learn about healthy choices from you and Dad. And if we have any questions about foods we don't know of, we can quickly ask how healthy it is to eat. Learning about different foods is an important part of healthy nutrition. When I'm in the grocery store with my family, there's lots of food I don't know about. So when I ask about them, it helps me decide what I should and shouldn't eat. A lot of food products might say they're low in calories or high in some nutrients or vitamins. But the doctor said some of those foods have things that are added to them that aren't part of Canada's food guide. These processed foods should be avoided or limited to stay healthy. The doctor said it makes me smarter to ask questions about food I'm unsure of. Mm -hmm. And once we know of the right foods to cook, we should also practice good eating habits. For one, we should aim to eat together without any distractions. This includes turning off the TV or any other screens. That way we can talk about our day, enjoy each other's company, and stop eating in a hurry. And eating slowly makes it easier for us to know when we've eaten enough food. This stops us from eating too much and overeating. That's awesome, kids. I think it's great to cook and eat together. Yeah, me too. So before we head to the store, let me get this straight. You know by now what nutritious foods from the four food groups you should be having and what foods or drinks you should limit or not have at all. You've also learned that we should all help in buying and cooking these healthy foods. This helps you learn and understand the importance of healthy eating choices. Then once we've finished cooking, we should all eat together and enjoy our meals at a relaxed pace in order to prevent overeating. Exactly! exactly.